So if, I like each panel stands. So in five years, we have more television, more content, or same or less. Well, I'll tell, I'll tell you the fascinating thing to me. I've been hearing about the, you know, in the technology industry, I've been hearing about the death of television for going on 10 years now, and it's never been better. Um, I mean, the quality uh, and, and breadth of programming these days is just remarkable. And so I think that there's going to be, you will continue to hear that, dis that kind of discussion, but in my mind, it's getting, it's getting there's, there's more of it and it's better. So I don't see that trend stopping anytime soon. Michael? Um, I think it's a, it, it, so a couple of things. First of all, and we were talking about this before the panel, I think this, the, 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 the television and film and music too, but television and film in particular have always um, had been enormously affected by technology. Um, and film in particular, every sort of seven or eight years, a new technology has come along that has dramatically affected the economics of our business, whether it's pay television or DVDs or something like this. In the case of the internet and in the case of DVRs, but the internet as it relates to things like Netflix, for the first time, we have a platform that allows people to catch up on television that they hadn't done in the past. And I think what has resulted is an enormous improvement in the quality of television. Why? Because you can have these open-ended dramas, mm. which you couldn't have in the past because you missed an episode of The Wire and that was it. You were, you were out of the mix. Yeah. And so now, all of a sudden, you find these writers coming in who would like to create these 13-hour character arcs, much, much better than creating a two-hour arc for television. And so you have this huge boom in dramatic television. That combined with these, and these platforms that have all of a sudden come up, not just um, cable, but internet. And the, yeah. pla and the cable ones have increased. You know, FX has announced they're going to do 25 series. So yes, on the whole, I think, and good writing, by the way, begets good directing, so great directors are now coming into television. If you look at the pilot season this year, there were a bunch of directors who you would have never seen in television before, including Ang Lee, who just won the Oscar, right. and that gets you great actors. So in this sense, technology has improved the quality of television. There is a point, in my opinion, where people, are, and it's already happening, where people are saying, enough. Um, there is so much good television out there right now, and there is so much that's been announced that I know as a, you know, I watch a lot of shows. I probably watch eight or nine shows a week that I keep recording or watch on things. And you say, am I really going to devote three, four, five years of my life to another show about another dysfunctional guy doing another thing? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, at a certain point, it's like anything. The, the industry senses um, an opportunity, and we pile in, yeah. and we make all these great shows. Um, and the consumer says, I'm not sure I can consume all of that. Now, what happens as a result, and I think you're seeing a variation on that, is, and that's what's so interesting, is um, what's returning, in my opinion, is the miniseries. So now, all of a sudden, and you saw it with the Hatfields and the McCoys, and you, you saw more recent examples with other quality versions, uh, we, uh, where you say to the consumer, you don't have to devote five years of your life. You don't even have to devote a year of your life. All you need to give us is six hours or eight hours. Right. And so what I think is you're going to see now, and by the way, f f great writers and great directors will respond even better to a six-hour or eight-hour story arc than they would over committing their life to five years of 13 hours. So right. now I think, yes, there will be more television, but it may be in a different version than the sort of... 13 episode, five year commitment that we've all signed up for. I think that's a fascinating insight that, the, the, that you wouldn't have thought initially about. You never the, think, yeah. yeah. Right, that, that the ability to catch up has, crea has created the opportunity for these kinds of shows, right? Again, f five, 10 years ago, if you had Game of Thrones and you missed an episode and you tuned, tuned in, where is everybody? Yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, <laughs> which, which, <laughs> and nobody on tweet would have been able yeah, to right, tell yeah, you. Right, nobody on, which right. leads to the binge right. watching, That's right? Because right. you want to catch up. Right. right. No one would know, there would be no conversation you could go back and look at to see what happened. Right. So, so the art form is, you know, I, I, technology is great and it's great that everybody's getting access to more shows and, and the fact that you can watch on all these devices. What's also interesting and perhaps even more important is that the art form itself is changing yeah. and changing oddly for the better, which is not always the case. Yeah. Yeah.